Isaiah chapter 7, verse 17. After the, the prophecy of the virgin birth. Talk about an invasion. The Lord shall bring upon thee and upon thy people, Jew. Chapter 7, verse 1 has been about Judah. And upon thy father's house. The days that have not come. From the day that Ephraim, 1 Kings 12, 16, departed from Judah, even the, even the king of Assyria. Israel went into captivity. Judah is following behind. Judah did not learn from Israel's sin and captivity. And shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall hiss for a fly, unclean animal, a nuisance, Beelzebub, the Lord of the flies, is what they call Jesus. That's in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt, the Nile. Well, there was a fly, one of the plagues of, of Pharaoh. And for the bee, the only place in the Bible, bee, that's in the land of Assyria. Okay, Egypt is where Israel came out of. Assyria is where Israel went to. Judah's going to go to Babylon. And they shall come. And shall rest all of them in the desolate valley. No one's there. Empty. In the holes of the rocks. And that's the type of the second advent. Where men will throw their idols and images and hide in the holes of the rock. And upon all thorns. That's the curse. Upon all bushes. It's an area that has not been clean for farming. Thorns and bushes. In the same day, the Lord shall shave with a razor. That is hired. To defeat Israel. Namely, by them beyond the river, by the king of Assyria, the head, the hair of the, of the feet, and shall also consume thy beard. He's just going to remove all. A clean cut. David's men were embarrassed by the enemy. Well, not, they became the enemy. David sent ambassadors to, to a son of a, whose father had died and they shaved half off their beards and the beard for the for the Israelites, I mean, that was a man's token of honor. And shall come to pass in that day. In that day shows up 115 times in the Bible in 112 verses. And you're looking at the second advent. You're also looking at prophecy. In that day, it's coming a period of time. In that day. That a man shall nourish a young cow. And two sheep. And shall come to pass for the abundance of milk. This will be the millennium. That they shall give. He. They shall give he shall eat butter. Butter is, is plain and simple. I mean, you take the milk from the animals and you turn butter. For, buddy and, for butter and honey. Honey is just found out. Jonathan is coming back from battle and there's just honey dripping from a, from a tree. The bare necessity. Shall everyone eat that is left in the land after the invasion? 
The land of Israel is described by God as the land of milk and honey. And shall come to pass in that day that every place shall be where there were where there were a thousand vines at a thousand silverlings. That's a large price paid or rented for a vineyard. It shall even be for briars and thorns the curse. Nothing in the vineyard no more. Been overgrown, been over overconquered by weeds. This is the result of the judgment of God upon people who won't do right. With arrows and with bows shall men come hither, military, because all the land shall become briars and thorns, unworked, unlabored. Wherever man puts a shovel or a tool to the ground, weeds will grow. When you go out in the forest, you go out in the woods, you go where a man has not been, and you look at the ground, the, fo the, the forest ground, the woods ground, there's no weeds. But... Where I come from, from Connecticut, you go out walking in the woods and you'll see remnants of, of rock walls and remnants of farms and barns. And you look around where there were gardens, where there was man who put a tool to the ground or a plow, weeds. And the curse of Adam upon the ground is where you put that tool. Where there were no weeds before, there are weeds now. And what God is saying, you know, you would pay a thousand silverly for a rent or a or for the value of a vineyard. Expensive. What's there now? Weeds. No good crops. And on all hills. There shall be digged with a modex. There's the tool. There shall not come hither the fear of briars or the thorns. But it shall be for the sending forth of oxen and for treading lesser cattle. Just the redmonds. Just the redmonds. What's left over? 